So after almost a week of the Guardian takedown being live, we finally have been given changes. A quick change to assist us in farming this new raid. Today we get into the details. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and today I'll bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So with the raid being the newest addition to the game, when it arrived and was something many of us were excited for, it quickly dawned upon the community that mistakes on Gearbox's behalf were indeed made. Now I can't confirm this from in reality a reliable source as it's just word of mouth, but what I was told was, and you may have noticed it when you were playing this thing, was that true take that mode couldn't be turned off even if it said it was off. And I was also told that as true take that mode was always on and how it works in the way it scales the enemies to the amount of players in your party, it was seriously bugged. And what it was doing was setting the enemy health stat values at 16 times what we'd see if we played solo. So it's basically thinking 16 players within your party were playing the game at the same time and it was setting health accordingly. Now like I said, that is just word of mouth. I ain't seen Gearbox confirm that, but all I know is playing it, it was absolutely crazy when doing it solo. The health of enemies is unbelievable. Now when I did it for the first time on the Mayhem 10, I did it in a team and it didn't seem that hard. I mean yeah a few complaints were being thrown about, but it wasn't that bad. But attempting it solo, it was just utterly stupid. And I felt this was the response of the mass community when looking on posts on Reddit, Twitter, Facebook, you name it. People were bringing this point up. It was just too hard. Enemy health bars were just stupid high. To a point of I think someone worked out that certain enemies had around the same health as Gravewood did on a Mayhem 10. I mean, I don't think I experienced that. If I did, I just didn't clock on. But if someone did, wow, that is crazy. So they released a hotfix today which dropped enemy health down by 50% and I will straight up tell you, playing it for a bit now you can definitely feel the change. Now we'll mention that this 50% damage reduction doesn't apply to bosses, just mobs, which I'm kinda okay with. The bosses you'd expect encounters to be tougher and that the health bars be on that slightly heavier side, but when mobs of enemies are coming at you in the dozens and they just have crazy high damage, well that isn't fun for anybody. And that's the thing people, this needs to be fun. It should have been fun prior to this hotfix, but it just wasn't. Now I hope we also see buffs to said red weapons too. The smug, the web slinger and the globe shotter. Because all in my opinion for what they are, they are just not good enough. The best of the three in my opinion is the smug, but to tell the truth it isn't anything truly special. Yes it can be made good, but I think we've come to expect that certain weapons from certain aspects of the game should truly blow us away, but we just haven't had that from any of these new weapons at all. So hopefully a buff will come soon, but we will see. Now I know people will have way more complaints about more than just this new raid, many other aspects of the game since the latest patch have fell off for some, including certain boss specific drops, I've seen many many complaints about this over on my discord. So we will wait and see what Gearbox say about this, if there are actually any issues going down. Now if any more news does come, obviously I will have you covered right here on my channel. But let me know how farming the new raid goes for you with this 50% reduced health to enemies. And on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. Also, if you'd like to support me directly, you can by hitting that join button and becoming a member of my channel. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.